Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's go over slider. So in slider, it's this is a slider. Okay, it goes back and forth like this. Um, it's a little bit slow on my computer, but it should be a lot, little bit better than that. You can click here, click here. All right, so it's pretty familiar. What we're gonna do, bottom navigator, new button bar, same thing. Um, I'm gonna put the alignment, push it over to the side a little bit more. It used to be down here. I'm not exactly sure why it came up here. I was playing around with it and I can't really set it back. Once I get to the more um, structural uh, type of or positioning type of widgets, I'll probably be able to figure this one out. But for right now, we're just looking at the visual type of stuff for, for the here and now. The children's gonna be the slider and the value um, equals val. Let me just test something out real quickly. If the value equals null, it'll give you a not a good answer itself. So it's got to be some type of value. Here I'm going to say value equals a double, which is 2.0. So it has to be a double. Um, active color is red. Inactive color is gray. If you cancel this out, the on changed, if there is no change, it's going to gray it out. Okay? So let's reverse that. And then divisions, this is an int. How many sections is it going to go through? I'm going to put 10 um, dividers inside of here. You could put a ho whole lot more than that. Um, so the maximum is 10, 10.0, and the minimum is 1.0. So these are basically uh, um, doubles right here. I don't know if you can comment this out. I didn't actually try that. Let's see what happens with that. Uh, no, you can't. So you have to have some values um, for these properties themselves. Label is my slider. And on my slider, so when you click on it, it um, looks up my slider. You don't have to have a value for this one for the label. That is not necessary. So you click on it, doesn't really change it much, and you just move it back and forth. Okay, so on the... Um, I, I think it bears repeating. I think I mentioned this in the, some other of these widgets. It's um, the, the widget in and of itself does not maintain a state. So in other words, there is no particular state that it has at this point in time. All it does is it changes a state when you click on it. So that's an interesting to, thing to keep in mind. Um, the documentation was kind of clear about that. So I'm not exactly sure about the implication of that. But as it is right now, it doesn't really have a state that it's emitting anywhere, okay? This, um, the, the double val does have a state, okay? But the slider in and of itself does not see that state unless you put it as part of the properties. So in the future, if we're going to want to basically get some information, we'll have to get the information from val and not from the slider widget in and of itself, all right? I'm not sure if that's really significant, but it... it I, I think it probably is because it was mentioned right inside of there. So anytime you change it, the, um, the slider, then it will change the state of val. And if it changes the state of val right inside of here, so the double, it sends that information from the slider down to changed and changed, it will set the state. So val will equal the E, the new state. But again, the state of val is changed and therefore it will be changed right in the slider. And um, the message will say you are set to and it'll be e dot two string is fixed. So it'll set, it'll round off, it'll truncate actually the um, double that's right here to only one digit, all right? So when we run that system, it'll start off as two and slider scale. And then if I move it around, It'll change it to something else. I had to truncate this because sometimes this goes at 2.88888 or something like that. And we can move it back and forth. Okay, so any new thing I move it to, it will go ahead and change the val over to that new state in and of itself. And that's my slider. Okay, so let's keep going on. These videos are brief and they might seem a little bit tedious and it's not a big deal but every single one of these things that I go through I'm learning a little bit more just the getting the used to the idea of these 
things, these these widgets themselves, and I'm getting a little bit used to the the parent widgets on top of them. So please bear with me if this is getting a little bit boring. I'm really sorry, but it is helping me, and maybe at least it may help you if you just keep going, get used to it, and repetition is always the most important thing for learning. Okay, thanks.